today I'm going to show you how to edit the motion sensitivity zones on your ring doorbell so you don't get alarms going off all throughout the day. Stick around, it's Life Automated. You're watching Life Automated with Owen Video. Hey, welcome back to the channel where we focus on all things I'm going to do my best not to say her name, but if you're using a ring doorbell and you find that you're getting alerts happening all the time, then what you need to do is adjust your motion sensitivity zones. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So let's go into the phone. Okay, so I'm inside the ring camera right now. And what we need to do is edit our motion sensitivity. So click on the three lines in the upper left hand side. That's called a hamburger menu and you'll see this pop up here. And then what you're gonna wanna do is click on devices. When you're on this page right here, click on the device for the motion zones that you wanna edit. I'm gonna click front door. Now you're on the main device settings right here. What you're gonna do is click on motion settings down here. And now you have a couple different options for adjusting motion sensitivity. The big one that I wanna show you today is how to edit the motion zones up here at the top. This is epic, this is way cool, and I feel like it's way more effective than the other three options. But let's go through those as well so you know what we're looking at. The first thing that we wanna look at is motion sensitivity. So this is taking a look at the ring doorbell, like how sensitive is it? Is it gonna react to a leaf falling down or is it gonna need to react to something a little bit bigger? You need to think about this because you have a, if you have cars driving down the street, this could be like perfect and maybe this is all you need to do is just adjust that motion sensitivity. You can also change it to people only mode, which you need a subscription to do. Now, here's why I don't have a subscription, because I had a subscription and I had people only mode and it didn't freaking work. Right. And I'm thinking like to myself, like, why am I paying this money for this feature that doesn't even work? But I, I digress. I will give myself an aneurysm if I keep talking about that. So I don't really like people only mode, but it might work for you. Now, in your advanced settings, you actually do have some pretty cool features here. For example, you have advanced motion detection that works with your motion zone. So this is kind of a really neat feature and it might be something that you wanna explore if you have a lot of like neighborhood traffic, foot traffic, joggers, that sort of thing. You also have motion schedules and this is something that I have used in the past and I actually really like it because we get a lot of motion during the day. We got packages being dropped off and all, but we're here. We're here during the day. So we don't, we don't really need too much of an alarm, alarm system going on. And then of course you've got your motion frequency settings. And these are all things that you could sort of dial in and adjust to reduce the amount of, of ring alerts that you're getting throughout the day. But the big one that I wanna show you today is how to edit your motion zones. Cause this is where you're gonna get the biggest bang for your buck. When you do that, what you'll see is this sort of this blue line here. And that's my default zone. So what you can do is tap on the screen and when you do that, you see these little dots and these allow you to kind of drag and you can move it, you know, around the screen. And so you can put these where you want them to go. I didn't really have a plan for you today, so I'm just kind of moving them uh, kind of randomly um, around the way. But, you know, when, when somebody is like a bird is flying overhead or like we have airline uh, traffic, like airplane traffic that comes at the top of the screen. I don't need that to trigger my my alarm. So what I may want to do here is click done and then I can click add zone. And when I do that, I can click this secondary zone. And when this secondary zone, it's only going to trigger motion that's in these areas here. So I could kind of like really dial this in to where I want it to go. And I can even add another zone over here and I can play with this over here and just put that where I want it to go. And if I don't like that zone, I can just trash can it right there and I'm done with it. Oops, I meant to delete the yellow one, but you get it, right? I can click on this one and I, I'm deleting that one and I can just stick with, with this one. So, you know, you've got a lot of great options here to calm down the alarm system and make sure it goes where you want it to go. What I like to do is put my motion detection where only a human could possibly walk. So like the squirrels on the trees, you decrease your motion sensitivity, right? And then you kind of create a motion zone here that's only gonna go off. See, right this, this is gonna go off whenever the neighbor opens up his garage. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm underneath the neighbor's garage and I don't wanna be on the sidewalk either. So I don't want this to get triggered when my wife pulls up in her car either. I only want it to be where a human can walk and that's, that's basically good enough for now. I can even tap down here and I can change zone one to main zone. 
And like I mentioned before, you can add uh, a couple different zones so that you really have a customized experience. Click done, click save. And now I have my motion sensitivity set up to where I'm not getting annoying alerts all day long. Now, if you wanna learn more about how to customize your Ring doorbell, I have a whole playlist of videos that you can binge watch right now like a boss. So tap what's on your screen and I will see you in the next video.